The story to my first name, Alex, I'm named after my uncle Alex Apo, who was a Waikiki beach boy, teaching uh, surfing lessons. They're basically the lifeguards too, before actual lifeguards. One of the legends of Waikiki beach boys, and I'm his namesake. Him and my dad became really close when they're working as beach boys. Um, and Kamo Kalani, my grandma named me. It's a child of the heavens. My dad's name is Raymond Kama Bumatai. He's a school teacher. Uh, he works construction. I guess one day he had a calling and he started carving. My first memory is my dad carving on one side with the chainsaw going. And I'm sitting in the canoe with a pile of sawdust. And you just hauling in snow, I guess. <laughs> That's what I remember. And I remember I used to like going around the canoes because the ground was soft because of all the shavings. First cut. I grew up with the canoe, you know, as a baby till now. That's all I remember my dad doing, was canoes. And, um, besides everyday work, I'd come home, it'd be canoe. My dad's first canoe he built, he named it after me. I was blessed with the canoe when I was a kid. The canoe's name is Kamo Kalani. So I grew up with the canoe, so it's, the canoe always comes first. Canoe for me means, ova means everything from paddling to the actual carving to actually taking care of it. It's a, it's a family member. Canoes bring people together. Either it's brigada, like paddling events, or carving demonstration, or anything. It could be a fiberglass canoe. Canoes is important in bringing people together. There's a, a jig that sits on the chainsaw called a mini mill, and they usually use it for square cuts for timber. It kind of got adapted for canoe building. <laughs> My dad's first canoe, he cut it freehand. So just chainsaw, and he just cut it. When he's doing that, he's like, there's got to be an easier way. So he came up with these techniques, the techniques we used. He didn't invent them, but he adapted them for the canoe. The Hawaiian team. I think the Hawaiians are the best technical experts in terms of canoe building that, that I've ever seen, you know? And I say technical because they aim really high for perfection, and that's something that should be admired, you know? There's the technical skill, and then there's the art. I think they get a good blend of both of that. The old days, the canoe was a way of life. So, um, Whatever tools they had, ads, koi kalais, burning it out and then chiseling that out. For me, modern tools, but I'm trying to stay with the traditional shapes. It's like a log, which is short and wide, like the one we had, make a fishing canoe. Then if it's long and slender, then you can make a racing canoe. Don't be cutting a log that could be a fishing canoe into a racing canoe, because you're wasting a lot of the tree. You're wasting a lot of tree for something that you want instead of doing what's right for the tree. When you carve, you're putting life back into the canoe. The canoe determines the pace, determines everything. Everything's just been lining up. The cut's been good, the, the pace, the canoe let us set, been good. Some days we're like, hey, we're done. Just, it just felt that way. Nobody tells you, it's just a feeling you get. Okay, guys, we're done for today. And then the next day, the canoe's happy, we're happy, and we just carry on. 
Morning, Ralph. Good morning. It's probably one of my best experiences. That's why I'm more so wish my dad was here. Um, all the protocols and just uh, how we can relate to everybody. Polynesians. We're far above our clothes. The way we treat each other, the way our mannerisms, they all kind of, we all blend. So it's like, we're cousins from distance, when we carve our brothers. So it just feels right. But a lot of our language is super similar. Like we say, hell am I, come. You guys say the same thing, huh? Carvers, they just naturally gravitate to each other. It's weird because I, I don't know how to do their style of tunnel, but I understand it, if that makes sense. But in front, you need I just look at Billy, I'll be like, and he'll be like, and then, yeah. It's, um, and it's awesome. Oh, okay, so you're gonna cut it in like that? Yeah. In terms of Afanu, the Hawaiians, and what I've seen of them, and what I know of them, you know, they're just like us. They, they, um, their whanaungatanga is solid, you know, they have good way to hey! amongst themselves. And good job, bro. Good, good job. Good job. They have a real cohesive team, yeah. And they're, they're mahitahi, you know, they're, they're mahitahi really well together. Usually we just play Hawaiian music on loop all day. <laughs> it's just something that we do at home. It makes us feel comfortable. So I'm gonna rip the, um, the ama in half to hollow it out. But we're gonna laminate them back together. So in the middle of them, we put a totara strip. We're gonna look slick. So we've got my cousin Sam Honeo, his grandpa used to carve. We're using all the tree, trying to use up every piece. How's that front look? Then there's Paul Higgins. The back. Or the back. Yeah. He's been a friend and we work together well. And then there's Todd. So Todd is actually one of my dad's students. And he's been a dad's student for the last three years. And to come here for a month to do this, there's not much people on short term that can pick up and go. We all understand. We're here for the canoe. And it's a labor of love. You can't just do one, because the next one will be different. You have to share the knowledge. I'm pretty sure it's this big knot, sucking everything in. Yeah, one way of doing it, we can cut. We leave the pressure. That thing will pop back out, but we got a patch. Oh yeah, look how much play get. Oh, that brought it back. It's gonna come in. Matching. Matching the hole. It's actually a labor of love because it's time consuming, expensive, especially if you're just doing it and you're not getting paid. It's, um, you got to do it for the love. Yeah, it's hard. So if you, if you want to learn, you got to find a big tree, you got to pay for the hauling, you got to have the space to do it. So I could see people interested in doing it, but to carry it on, it's, um, there's gonna be something in you, I guess. Everybody involved, sign. The name? The name, and then when you put it on the canoe, yeah. forever with the canoe. You have to make a cross like my ancestor on the tree. The unit. <laughs> <laughs> we have the kids sign yeah. the front, and we sign the back, because nice. the, the kids lead us into the future. Oh, yes. To me, it's very important that we share this knowledge and carry it on, and because we almost lost it. Less than a handful of carvers, actual carvers, left in Hawaii. We lost actually a lot of stuff already. This is a way for us to preserve it. This trip uh, actually means a lot for me and the canoe, because uh, my dad was supposed to be here. Good morning. Good, good. And he fell into some uh, health issues. And so he couldn't come, so we're doing it without him, which is tough for me. But um, that's what we named the uh, Kanum Kama. When well, it's our family name, my dad's middle name, I carry it. And it means child too. So it's, you know, took a tree's life, we give it birth. So it's kind of fitting. It's Kama, no? Kama?
it's a labor of love. So somebody has to be dedicated. And ideally, if I get paid, but I'll still do it if I don't. But I still got to pay the bills. So. There's a big revival for uh, the Hawaiian culture in a lot of aspects. We're trying to get back to the old ways. So we have a family lashing called Pau o Luukia, uh, which has been passed down in our family for about seven or eight hundred years. My grandma told my dad, and then my dad told us, it's not our lashing, but it's the lashing we use, and it's, we have family history tied to it. <laughs> Can you guys say aloha? aloha? Aloha! Oh, you guys got it already. And we get rich doing some of this. We'd be rich with all. The knowledge is awesome. It's awesome from blending the, the past and the future together. And uh, it benefits everyone. Like you say, you gotta know where you're from. We came from the Ba. That's how we got there. That's what makes us Hawaiians. Tēnā koutou irirangi te motu i te pūtia tautoko kā rawe.